look at this, look at this, look at this. So I am out here today at a bottle dump and I'm in Europe. We're gonna be looking for some old bottles. Have Chill Bill with me. He's brought me out to this place. We also have Zoya. And we're gonna be bottle digging together. See what we can find. Look at that. Oh, very nice. It's in the surface. I mean, I mean, yeah, surface fine. There's, like well, there's stuff everywhere. Here's an old uh, toilet pot. Oh, chamber pot. Yeah, chamber pot <laughs> right on top of the ground. Stuff over here. Haven't started to dig yet. There's but here. here's an old wine bottle. So this place has potential. We're going to dig through all this and see what we can find down below. <laughs> That's right, potential. <laughs> this is an old water jug. Probably from the 1940s or 50s. Maybe older than that, actually. But to heat up water and pour it in the bath, wherever you needed it. So I think I have a complete bottle here. Look at that. Let's see if we can get it out. There's a lot of broken ones on top of it. Really dangerous. Got to wear gloves. Let me see if I can get this wine bottle out of here. Ooh, ooh, that looks pretty old. It's going to go back to the 18 mid 1800s. It's going to go back to the 1700s, but you're going to have to get a bit deeper than that. Yeah. I just don't want to break this one, so I'm just going to carefully get it out. Let's see. Okay, so the top's right here. The bottom is down here. Ah, almost complete. <laughs> it's old though. How old? 1930s or older probably. Okay. Look at this. And this is just the surface stuff. No telling what's deeper, if there is anything. He thinks he's got a whole bowl here. Yeah, I just dug this one out on top. Oh, this is getting older. Yeah, and you're only six inches down. A foot down and you'll be getting into the 1700s. Look, wow. at, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. That is amazing. That's really all too bad it's broken, but yeah, that's an early bottle right there. And what we're finding, that's 1800s or older. Wow. And look at that. The bottom is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look how thick that glass is. And that is that a blown bottle? It is I can't see it. It looks like it's partial blown, yeah. Yeah. Hard to tell. The top's missing, but it's old. Yeah. It's older than 1900. <laughs> this little uh, handbrake comes in handy. Handy. You should have bought that big fork and then you could go big. I want a poison bottle. Me too! Oh man! What is that? the top from a wine oh, bottle. I thought it was a small Just getting fancier. <laughs> it's a cork top bottle. Unbelievable. I think, it, I think it's uh, for a perfume, no? Probably, yeah. It's look like very it's, fancy. It's, 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 it's real fancy. small. Probably from Paris. For sure. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's just right here and there's and more. Look at that. More. There's more. So I'm getting on to a hot spot. Just found this little bottle. Cork top. Probably a perfume. That's beautiful. Complete as well. It was just right there in the sidewall. I pulled it out and there's some more. Looks like a, oh, that's broken there. I thought it was complete. But there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm using the pinpointer just to see if there's any uh, coins. So far I've been finding a lot of iron. Yeah, there's little pieces of tin and stuff like that, but we're gonna have to expand this area. What'd you get? <laughs> Old uh, pottery. Oh, with or, some design on it. If I if I get the, what is this? It's some some ancient something. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Lots of glass in here, all over the place. <laughs> Look, a little bottle. That's early 1900s. <laughs> I would say this might be like I don't know, but it's more look like uh, the female something like cream or something. In those days, they was doing special uh, like, uh, for makeup or something. Makeup stuff, yeah. yeah. Because nice. it doesn't have any, you know, pharmaceutical engine. <laughs> Put it right there. Oh, Coffee pot. Yeah. Milk churn. 
Whatever you want to call it. Oh man, look at this. Sweet something on it? Yeah, let's see. It's hard to tell. Pretty faded. See there's a day. there's a bunch of measurements, so something for measuring. Oh yeah, it's milk. Milk? milk. Uh -huh. And a cork top? Yeah, because uh, I remember in my childhood we had this kind of it's written here. No, I doubt it. It's a grams or equal water dust, water dust, uh -huh. distillation. It's distillated water. That's what it okay. is. Okay. Distillated that's, water. That's going to be what? 1920s? Yeah, yeah. Or so, because 30s, yeah. Like in my we childhood, found it we just it. right there on top, so it's the, the newer part of the dump. Yeah, so it is, yes, it's a distillated water, so it's for the medical reasons. Yeah. Awesome. Not bad. Not bad, and one piece. That's right. Just right oh, here, so we're going to keep piece. scraping. See if there's any more. Usually the smaller bottles are complete because all this big stuff gets busted when they throw it in. So I just dug up a spoon. Nice iron one. Not bad. Most of the stuff is broken, but every now and then you'll get onto a complete bottle. Broken wine bottles. Just the bases. We have a lot of area to dig up though. I mean, it goes all the way around it's over not there. Here because there's nothing here. Okay, so in this area. So we're in the bottle zone right now. Bottles are pulling out everywhere. Find some good stuff right in this hole. Have them up here. Like three in like three minutes or less. That's pretty cool. And two other bottles. See, they have some embossing on the sides. This one has embossing on the front. And that's going to be some kind of booze, because that says it's Juvenance de the Abbey of Sorry. So <laughs> Abbey's beer, that sort of thing. Let's keep looking down here because this is where I found them. Oh man! Ah, oh, it's broken already. Been broken. Oh, that's beautiful. You can see it's an old break. Oh, this one might be complete though. Aha! Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Very awesome. Lots of bottles today. Camera. This is another uh, probably whiskey or something. I don't know. You have a look. Syrup. All right, so I have one right here. You can see it in the side. Let's get it out. And it's complete. I don't know if there's anything on it. Nothing on this one. Pretty cool though. Complete bottle is always a good find. I accidentally didn't find a huge bottle. <laughs> he was digging away and I said, there's a bottle there. And he, and he said, what bottle? There's a huge bottle right there. Uh, it has it's no embossing on it, but it's still pretty That's cool. a huge one. This is the top off of an old inkwell. Too bad it's broken. That would have been lovely. This is really old. Like late 1800s from the seam on here. Take a look at that. There's some writing on it. And look at the mold line going up. That's pretty early. So probably before 1900. Very nice. It's a great find right there. That's what we're looking for. Let's go find some more. Really nice. You gotta do that. You gotta do that rebel yell again. Come on. <laughs> it's got a, a pretty color to it. It's like a light blue green. Still has the dirt on it. Take a look at this one I just pulled out. Beautiful. You can see the embossing on it. Has a greenish blue color. Wow. That's got to be pretty old. Can't believe it's complete. It was down in the bottom of the hole. All the broken stuff on top of it. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. What'd you get? Oh, nice. That's Perfume or cologne or something. Went to the surges because it has a plastic top. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, I want 17th century. <laughs> well, that's gonna be another three foot down. <laughs> oh. Now I found the hotspot for the small bottles. <laughs> Nugget, what do you think, how old is this? Good catch. Maybe 1920s or 30s. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, nice. 
still closed, on it. still closed, and still still have liquid in it. The bottle diggers call that amber, Ooh. when actually it's brown. Oh, oh here we go. Crack. Look at that. That's beauty. This one called Midi or Midi. Another plate and green color. I didn't have green color yet. These bottle diggers are mad. I've had a bit of a play. Oh, thank you, wow. <laughs> I've got a different color. I haven't got a color yet. Wow. I found this, but it's still exciting. Look at that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow. It's uh, actually written from where it is, and it's from France. I think we'll have a quite a quite an exhibition of this uh, bottles today. No, not at home. Yes, yes. at home. Yes. Oh Two no. Two people against one. Yes. Getting on to it now. I can hear oh. the glass. Come on, camera. Wait, wait. It's all broken though. Oh, that's a Ooh. Oh. oh man, what? no way! Show me! No oh, way! No look way. at this! Look at this! Look at this! It's an inkwell and it's complete! Unbelievable! Like best find ever! This is amazing! And check it out! Look at wow, that! Wow, look at that! That wow. is amazing! And it's old! Yeah! Wow, look at that! I was not expecting it! PG. Wow! Wow. That is amazing. That's what we're looking for right here. Check it out, Bill. Beautiful. Look at the color of that. Wonderful. It's mine now. No. <laughs> Look how irregular it is. Yeah. I mean, it's like, uh, it's 1800s, I would imagine. And it's got a number on the bottom that says... Really? Yeah. Some 86 or something like that. 1886. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> they might even date these know. things. Or is it, does it say PC? Let me take a look. For politically correct. <laughs> well, let's hope it's not that. <laughs> uh, it does say, uh, let's see, PG. Ah, PG. <laughs> oh, the kids couldn't use it. The kids weren't allowed to use it. Uh, not awesome. made for children, not made for kids. That's what that means. <laughs> wow, you can see the bubbles in the glass. Unreal. And it was just right down here. I was digging through all this rubbish, getting out the modern wine bottles, and I just seen it laying in the bottom. Small stuff like this stays intact. Yeah, we have to the car. That right there made the entire hunt. Wow, I'm shaking. Let's get a close up of this. It's incredible. So here's a close up of the inkwell. You can see how the top of it has been like hand chipped around there. Beautiful blue, blue green color, mainly blue. Wow, that is amazing. Can't wait to wash it out. That thing will shine in the sunlight. Well, let's keep going, see if we can find some more. Could be a lot of them down there. All right, so we are digging it out some more. The inkwell was found right here. And let's see what else could be hiding in the dirt. You gotta love bottle digging, it's awesome. Look, here's a piece of blue glass right here. It's broken, but it was a little, little bottle. So that's a good sign. Nice sandy dirt, so it's real easy digging. Bottle tops. That's actually a earlier one right there. What is it? Whiskey. Screw top. Screw top. <laughs> no, it's not whiskey. It's small. I want a marble. Marble. A French marble. I wonder if they're still called marbles. They're called marbles. <laughs> they do, they do. They still sell in them. A plastic gun. Metal. Metal? Doesn't work. Uh, thankfully. No. Yeah, yeah. Even, never point a gun at anybody, even if you think it's a toy. Oh, man. What do you got? She found a, what, she found a gun? She found a gun? <laughs> I found another inkwell. Wow. Oh, wow. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't think it's as old as the first one, but it's pretty cool. It's round top. Probably knocked it out. Let's see what it says. Jules. Something. Something, something. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> and so I got That's a gun. funny that was in there. 
I think I found another gun. Let's let's see. Two guns. Another gun. <laughs> <laughs> we can play now. Yeah, two guns in one day. Yeah, that one was gold plated. This one is. Gold. Put them both out and do a two. A, and you get your gun pose. <laughs> I don't know how to call them. <laughs> well, I think this bottle right here might be complete. Feels pretty packed in there. I've been trying to wiggle it out. Let's hope it's complete. Is it? Ah, oh, man. Top of it snapped off. So close to having a complete bottle. So I just found another inkwell. This one is not as complete as the first one has a little bit of chipping on the top there, but you can tell where it's been broken. It has dirt all in it. That's pretty nice though. Right down in the side wall of the hole, and I just popped it out right in there. Nuggets getting subterranean here. I have a deep bottle down here on the edge of the dump. I've been pulling out the ink wells and more pieces to them. But this one might be old. I hope it's complete. Yeah, it may not be. Ah, oh, it's broken. But you can see where it was wedged down in there. Definitely an older one. What's the underneath like? Just goes in a little bit. Three or four inches. It's starting to pour down rain now. It's going to be a storm. I wanted to show you some of the bottles we have found so far. I have a pile of them right here. This is some of Zoya's finds. A lot of good stuff. And we have some more up here. We're going to start packing them up because. The storm is rolling in and we want to get out of here before it gets too bad. But I'm going to continue digging for at least another 20 or 30 minutes right in here to see what else I can find. So let's get to it. We're getting ready to leave and I just found this beautiful spoon handle. Look at that. That is amazing. Nice design on there. It's made of pewter. So it's from the 1800s or 1700s. Wow. Very old, and I just eyeballed it in the dump here. That is amazing. It's gonna clean up nice too. It is, it's a rabbit. A little rabbit, look at that. Oh, sweet. That is awesome, just eyeballed it. Thought it was like a broken bottle or something. Look kind of like junk. Nice, awesome. Here we go. You can see the eyes and nose on there. <laughs> That's a cool find. Here's two wine bottles. These are newer though, so I'm not going to keep these. Maybe 19, you know, 50s or 60s. Not very old. I mean, they could be older, but they're not 1800s. I'm going to start covering in this hole, gather up all the good stuff, and head on out of here. It's been a fun few hours. We found a bunch of bottles, and there's so much more area to cover. We have over there. And over there as well so i'll have to come back out here so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel click that bell and you'll get notified every time i upload a new video so we're wrapping up today these are all the finds at least most of them cleaned up you have a lot of pottery and plates nice cork top there bunch of bottles these are my finds over here have several ink wells. Look at those, they're beautiful. Three of them there. Some perfume bottles, medicine bottles. Lots of awesome stuff. And we only had a few hours to dig, so I'll definitely have to come back. These are Zoya's finds. She found a bunch of plates. She's gonna put these together and make some artwork out of them. Very nice. 
down here we have some more finds. So overall, it was a great, great bottle dig. We had a blast. We're looking forward to doing it again. Take a look at this spoon. Almost forgot about this spoon here. Nice spoon handle. Beautiful design on there. Until next time, y'all take care and God bless.